Look at her body. Man, she's so fit. She must be so healthy. You can't tell if someone is healthy based on just how they look. You can't. Then how do you tell someone is healthy? Well, there are multiple aspects to health. You want the modern view or the traditional view? Um, traditional? Well, for that, you better go to the heart. Oh, why the heart? Because she is better at it. For tradition, we need more heart and intuition than logic and reasoning. Hmm, okay. Hey heart, can you tell me how do we decide if we are healthy? All right then, let me tell you about the Pancha Kosha theory. Pancha what? These are five levels of a human being that help us understand exactly what it means to be healthy. Okay, I'm all ears. The first level is just the physical body, the bones, the muscles, the skeletal system. You basically nourish it with food and water. It's also the most visible. Hmm. So diet and exercise would be the primary factors here. The next level is the breath. This is the energy that animates the body. The muscles move or the mind has thoughts because of electrical impulses. You could call this energy prana and this is greatly influenced by the breath. But how do we measure if this body is healthy? For this body, you can look at the resting heart rate, the HRV or number of breaths per minute. What comes next? Next comes the mind or the emotional body. It is influenced by our senses, what we watch, what we listen to, what our environment is like, how clean it is. Even the subtle sense of everything we eat impacts our emotional health. Essentially, this body is made up of the worldly experience of our senses. So past trauma, unclean spaces, overindulgence, or that fear-mongering content could make this body unwell? Yes, because all of these play with our emotions. Equally, things that appeal to our senses like time in nature, friends, music, positive thoughts can heal this body. Okay, so there's the body, then the breath, and then the mind, the emotional mind. What's the fourth? The fourth one is the intellectual body. It is made up of your value system, your life philosophy, or your sense of purpose. These are the higher centers of our brain that help us rise above and regulate our emotions. Then how do you make this body healthy? Since this is the body that decides what you pay attention to, it is nourished by focus or meditation mindfulness practices. Hmm, and what's the last level? The last one is equanimity or a state of happiness that is difficult to describe in the words that we know. It can only be experienced. To be honest, doesn't this sound like a lot of work? On the contrary, it makes being happy and healthy a lot easier. How? Because all of these aspects are interlinked, they influence each other, they are not separate, they kind of move together. Think of it like having four horses working for you instead of just one. So there will be more power behind your efforts when you focus on each of these rather than over-focusing on just one. But don't believe me, see for yourself by giving it a try.